When Paul Sargent retired, he thought an electric car would be the perfect runaround. But three months later, and he's hit a bump in the road. If he wants a day out around Norfolk, he just can't do it without waiting hours for his car to charge. With only four fast charge points around the county and 60 miles in his battery, travelling to more than one destination from his cossy home isn't possible. A lot of the big cities like London, Birmingham, Coventry, um, Bristol, all those have got a very, very good infrastructure of um, car charges. It's just that like Norfolk again is out on a limb and it's been like that for donkey's years. Yeah, it's very, very frustrating at times. You know, you hear on the news um, the government wants to do this, that and the other with um, pollution and such like. And yet when, um, when we've got the facilities though um, with the cars, they're not putting the infrastructure in to um, make, it, make life bearable for us. The government's just published its so-called draft clean air plan. It suggests paying drivers of older cars to buy electric ones, upgrading buses, lorries and taxis, and steering the public away from diesel cars. The air pollution problem is one that's very familiar to Norwich. Last year, figures revealed illegally high levels of nitrogen dioxide in our air. Campaigners in the city have criticised the government's plan for being weak and passing the buck to local authorities. The government itself says in its own strategy that's just published that air quality or poor air quality is the biggest environmental risk to public health in the UK. Absolutely, that's right. I mean, tens of thousands of people are dying every year. What is the government doing? It's just putting responsibility on local authorities. It's more concerned about vehicles. It's more concerned about votes. I mean, that in itself is, is unacceptable. The government needs to step up to the mark, but also local authorities need to be doing something as well. The damning figure on Norwich's air pollution, particularly bad in areas like Castle Meadow, came 13 years after a big drive to improve air quality in the city. The City Council is currently on its third environmental strategy and it's installed slow charge points in the new Rose Lane car park, as well as working with bus companies to reduce emissions. But City Councillor Mike Stonard says they can't do any more without government money. We've had to save £30 million over the last six years. We've got to save another £2-plus million over the next four or five years every year. So every year it gets harder uh, and we're trying to maintain basic services. So a lot of it is to do with whether the government is willing to give us grants uh, to do that. We're doing an awful lot else to reduce CO2 emissions, emissions very successfully, um, but electric car charging points need the funding if we're going to do it and, 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 and clearly there are other priorities. So if we can get the money, we'll happily do it. As for Paul, he's concerned the lack of charging spots will put tourists off visiting Norfolk. He's contacting attractions around the county to try to convince them to sign up, but there's still a long way to go until he can do any journey without meticulous planning. Lauren Du Bois, Mustard TV, Cossie.